Hello, second grade smarties, and welcome to iReady Math Lesson 20, video number four. Today, you are going to be in your instruction book on pages 188 and 189. You are also going to need a ruler that, me <laughs> that measures inches and centimeters. All right, let's go ahead and get started with comparing lengths. Let's look at the example question first. It says Jonah is 52 inches tall. His sister Sophia is 43 inches tall. How much taller is Jonah than Sophia? Hmm, that is a word problem. So what would we need to do? Read it again. Jonah is 52 inches tall. His sister Sophia is 43 inches tall. How much taller is Jonah than Sophia? Remember when we hear that word than, we are comparing. And when we compare a whole and a part, we are usually going to subtract. So keep that in your head, Smarties. When we are comparing numbers, when we are comparing a whole and a part, we are going to subtract. So in our equation, 52 is our whole because Jonah was taller than Sophia. So we started with our whole 52. We took a part, we took the part that was the same, that was the same that we could find in 52, and they found a difference of nine inches. So Jonah is nine inches taller than Sophia. So what kind of equation are you going to do when you're finding a difference? Subtraction, say difference, subtraction, difference, subtraction. Get it stuck in your head, Smarties. All right, let's look at number 13. It says, Anna measures the paper strings below in centimeters. What is the difference in lengths of the paper strips? I'm going to under underline the word centimeters because that is the unit of measurement we are using. So look at your paper strip, Smarties. Look at the one on top. The one on top is the shorter paper strip. How many centimeters long is the short paper strip? Look at where the right end lines up. It is three centimeters. So I'm going to write three centimeters. Three centimeters. Awesome. And our long paper strip, they did a great job lining it up at the zero on the left end. And the right end lines up with how many centimeters? Nine centimeters. All right, Smarties, so think back to the example problem. If we are finding the difference, what kind of equation do we need to make? A subtraction. Because we know that what both paper strips have, both paper strips have three centimeters. But we are trying to find the difference, what is different between the short paper strip and the long paper strip. So we need to make a subtraction equation. What number are we going to start with when we subtract? Which, when we subtract, we start with our whole. Which number is our whole? Nine centimeters. And what is the part that we know we are taking away? Three centimeters. All right, so nine centimeters minus three centimeters. What is going to be the difference, Smarties? Go ahead and write your answer on the line. So nine centimeters minus three centimeters would be a difference of six centimeters. So the longer paper strip is six centimeters longer than the short paper strip. All right, let's move on to number 14. It says circle the nail that is shorter. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our two nails. Go ahead and circle which one is shorter. Awesome job, Smarties. It says, then tell how much shorter it is. Measure using centimeters. All right, Smarties, so go ahead and get your centimeter ruler out. 
make sure that if your ruler measures inches and centimeters that you are on the right side. Remember, your centimeters are shorter than your inches. So let's go ahead and line up our zero with the left end. And what I am going to do is I am going to mark how many centimeters long the long nail is. So when we measure, our right end lines up with how many centimeters? How long is our long nail? Seven centimeters. So I'm going to write seven centimeters. All right. And then our short nail, when we line up the end of the short nail, how many centimeters long is it? Three centimeters. So we are trying to find the difference. So we are trying to find the difference right here, Smarties. What kind of equation are we going to use to find the difference? A subtraction, a subtraction equation. So what are we going to start with when we subtract? We're going to start with our biggest number because we know what is the same. We're trying to find what is different. So seven centimeters is our whole. And what is the part that we know? Three centimeters. So we are taking away three centimeters to find how much shorter, because that is how much shorter, we're trying to find shorter, not longer, how much shorter the short nail is. So seven centimeters minus three centimeters, what is going to be the difference, Smarties? Four centimeters shorter. Kiss your brain, Smarties. Oh my goodness. We are measuring and subtracting. All right, let's go to 15. It says, Tim has a piece of yarn that is three inches long. Which piece of yarn is one inch shorter than Tim's yarn? Okay, that is a word problem, so I'm going to read that again. Tim has a piece of yarn that is three inches long. Which piece of yarn is one inch shorter than Tim's, Tim's yarn? Ooh, okay. So we are comparing Tim's yarn to a piece of yarn that is one inch shorter. Hmm. We are comparing. Huh. Okay, so here's what I want us to do. Let's go ahead and measure all these pieces of yarn. So what unit are we using? Let's look back at the word problem. What unit are we going to use with our ruler? Inches. All right, so with your ruler, make sure you are measuring in inches. Let's go ahead and start with letter A and measure how long that is. Remember to line up the left end with the zero. All right. All right, so when we measure this piece of yarn, how many inches long is it? It is four inches. So I'm going to write four inches. Okay. Letter B. All right. Go ahead and line that up. And how many inches long is letter B's piece of yarn? Look at it really closely. One inch. Good job, Smarties. All right. So I'm going to write one inch. All right. Let's measure letter C. All right. Are you ready? Awesome. Okay. Letter C. How many inches long is letter C's piece of yarn? Three inches. Ooh, so that is the same as Tim's. So we know that is probably not going to be the one we choose, right? And letter D. When we measure that, oh, I'm going to fix this. Oh, there we go. When we measure letter D's piece of yarn, how long is it, Smarty? Two inches. All right, so we've measured all four pieces of yarn. Let's look back at what we are trying to figure out. 
Tim has a piece of yarn that is three inches long. Which piece of yarn is one inch shorter than Tim's yarn? All right, so what do we, which length are we going to be comparing? What is going to be our whole? How long was Tim's piece of yarn? Tim's piece of yarn was three inches. Now, it doesn't tell us which length we are comparing, but it tells us how many inches shorter the other length of yarn is going to be. How many inches shorter will the other piece of yarn be? One inch shorter. Hmm. What could I take away from three inches to find the shorter length. I could take away that one inch. So three, oh, and I'm gonna make sure to label three inches minus one inch, because we know that this other piece of yarn is one inch shorter. So if I have a three inch long piece of yarn, and I know that the piece of yarn I am finding is one inch shorter, how long is that piece of yarn going to be? two inches. Go ahead and circle which letter matches the equation. Letter D, right? Um, so I'm going to circle this really closely. All right, awesome. This says Ben chose A as the answer. This answer is wrong. How did Ben get this answer? So Ben chose A. How many inches long was the first piece of yarn? It was four inches. So what did Ben do to choose that answer? What did he do? We knew that Tim's piece of yarn was three inches. And we had to find the piece of yarn that was one inch shorter. What did Tim do? He found a piece of yarn that was longer. How many inches longer is four inches than three inches? So what did, what did Ben do? He found the piece of yarn that was one inch longer than Tim's. That's not what our question was asking us to solve. We needed to find the piece of yarn that was one inch shorter. So we would say Ben, Ben found the piece of yarn that was one inch longer instead whoop, of one inch sh or ooh, there's that o r horn or t er e r all right make sure that you are writing in complete sentences if it's wanting you to explain how something is solved make sure to use complete sentences all right smarties that is it for today's lesson remember to keep that growth mindset good learners do hard things. All right, Smarties, I will see you very soon with another lesson. Happy measuring.